Alright, so let's just take a look at this particular question. I'll just use this as an example. Okay, this particular oh. question as an example. So give a reason for this. Now, uh, what is the most important thing that you need to know uh, in PSLE? And that's, that's something, this is something that, there's, there's a word uh, that appears almost in every question, right? So uh, the word is called explain. Uh, they either ask you to explain or they ask you to give a reason, yeah. right? So how do you explain and how do you give a reason? So uh, as long as you can understand what they need, when they ask you to explain and give a reason, you'll be okay with uh, most of the PSLE um, questions, right? So things like that. So here's an example. So this example is a give a reason for this. Now, for me to, to solve this sort of question, I usually use a technique I call the start end technique. I'm not sure if I, you have you have heard about this before. Okay, it's called the uh, start end uh, technique. Now, whenever you need to explain something, right? Yeah. That there is always a start and then there's always an end. Alright, so let me use this question as an example. So if there are air bubbles trapped in liquid and the brakes will not work. So this is the question. But what is the what do you think is the start and the end? The end, let me just fill it in for you, is that the brakes will not work. Correct? So yeah. the start is air bubble. Air bubble. Yeah. Uh, so there are air bubbles. So your job when you are doing the explain, when you are doing explanation, is to fill in the in between. You know what I mean? So if you want to score like maximum marks for uh, it can be I mean in this case it's one mark, but it can be like two marks type of question. You gotta make sure that the connection between air bubbles and the brakes will not work is is connected properly. Alright, so uh, so what do we do in this? I mean, in this particular example, you can see that the question says that air bubbles can be compressed. Right, so what we do is um, because the air bubbles uh, can be compressed. Okay, so so what if it can be compressed? So uh, the piston B will not move as much, right? So the brakes will not be uh, compressed, right? Therefore, the brakes, therefore the brakes will not work. Okay. So what I'm trying to show is that uh, most students. When they don't score the maximum mark, right? It's because yeah. they don't have they don't have the full connection. You know what I mean? They don't have the full link. They don't have the link until here. Oh. Yeah. So some students they will just say that oh because the uh, air bubbles can be compressed and therefore the brakes will not work. You know what I mean? That means they skip. They skip like um this one. They skip this one. Then they straight away jump to this one. Oh. Yeah. So when you when you do that, uh, you don't get the maximum marks. Whether is it one mark or two mark. So you have to try to 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 to, to link uh, to link the start to the end. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Every time, every time you see this, uh, either explain or give a reason. Right. Every time you are asked to explain or give a reason, you can use this technique called the start end technique. Right. So the start in this case is air bubble, and how the brakes will not work because there are air bubbles inside, and you try to link in between. All right. So this is to address um, the problem where a lot of students they they don't know what to write, they don't know what is the keywords to put inside the answer. So some of them, they don't know how to start as well, you know, uh, answering the question. So you can use the start and uh, technique to help you to answer questions like that. Okay. Yeah. So, so um, I mean, you can, you can, you can look at the other, you have the papers, right, from the other school, or you can even look at the past year PSLE yeah. paper, right? Yeah. yeah. You'll see that almost every question, almost every one of them need you to either explain or give a reason yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So when when you see this right, uh, you can straight away use this uh, the start and the end. You identify the question right. What is the start? What is the end? And then you connect connect them. Oh. Yeah. That's that's just the thing that I want to show you. Okay. Okay. So maybe we can take a look at one other question. You can see this. You see, almost every question will be like that, no? To give yeah, a reason. So now, what is the start end in this case? Uh, which material P or Q is more suitable to be used as an electromagnet? Right. So the start is probably like a P. P is a better electromagnet. Right. So the end is like a more suitable. Right, then what's in between? So in between we will say that uh, YP because P um, it can attract right it can can also release quickly right and uh, that's a requirement for electromagnet okay and because of that right you end uh, therefore it's more suitable as an electromagnet can, okay. you, can you see that so when you do it this way your answer is complete yeah yeah it's complete that's that's all i want to show you right here i mean here there are many examples see almost every question will be give a reason you know you look at the next yeah. one okay explain Right, explain almost everyone is like that. You look at the PSLE uh, parts here, right? They're all the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. So this is the last thing I'll leave you with, huh? And um, yeah, that, 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 that's all I have for you. Okay. All right. So I uh, just want to wish you all the best for the PSLE, the rest of the PSLE. Okay. Are you taking higher Chinese? Yes, she is. Oh, okay. So one more day for you, right? <laughs> but it's, it's okay lah, it's okay. It's just one more day. Yeah? The rest of the three months, you know, you gotta enjoy as much as you can. Yeah. Okay, okay. Can. Yeah, that's all that's all for today. Yeah. Okay, okay all the best. Yeah, hope to keep you in contact. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.